Uh, we've done this before, but we're going to do it again. Uh, we choose two eigenvalues, and I let the class choose two eigenvalues. They chose two and one, uh, which is pretty that much okay. Uh, and I let lambda 1 equal 2, lambda 2 equal 1. I could have let lambda 1 equal 1, lambda 2 equals 2, but then you might confuse the subscripts with the eigenvalues. So uh, I, I, I did that. Um, so if those are our eigenvalues, what we want to do is we want to build up a variety of matrices that have those eigenvalues and then choose one to use as a basis for a system of differential equations. And we're going to solve that system of differential equations but by matrix methods um, as we'll see. Okay, so uh, our character, if these are uh, eigenvalues, our, character, our characteristic equation uh, will be either this or a constant multiple of this. So we're just going to assume this is our characteristic equation. And of course we expand that lambda squared minus 3 lambda plus 2. And now we try to find our A minus lambda I matrix. Okay, so our matrix could be, uh, a matrix that gives us this characteristic equation could be just 2 minus lambda, 1 minus lambda with zeros on the diagonals. Then, of course, our determinant would be 2 minus lambda uh, times 1 minus lambda. And in that case, our A matrix would be this, because obviously this is a matrix from which you would subtract lambda I to get this matrix. And of course that matrix is diagonal so that uh, our solution, our, our, our uh, system will decouple. Uh, you would end up with just y1 prime equals 2y1 and y2 prime equals y2, both of those uh, independent of one another. And you would get two solutions. In other words, your, your, your equations would decouple at this point into an equation in y1 and a linear equation in y2 solve using integrating factors and so forth. Well, that's if you had this matrix, if this was your A matrix for a system. And of course, implicitly, you know, we have a system uh, y prime equals a y. And it might be useful So what we're doing is we're choosing eigenvalues And we find matrices A. Corresponding matrices A. I don't have room to write the word corresponding. So there's one A matrix that would have these eigenvalues. Can we get another one? Well, sure. Uh, as long as the product of these uh, of the main diagonal elements give you lambda squared minus 3 lambda, we can get 2 here by just adjusting the numbers on the secondary diagonal. So uh, ask somebody to you know give me uh, two other factors that could give us negative 3 lambda and somebody says okay 5 and negative 2 because of course uh, if you do 5 minus lambda times 2 minus lambda, you're going to get your minus 3 lambda and your lambda squared. Now, you're not going to get 2 here, but that's the whole point. Uh, if you do this, well, you can multiply this out. We multiplied it out over here just to the side, and we got lambda squared minus 3 lambda minus 10. Well, that's not the characteristic equation we want. We want this characteristic equation that factors into this, so we get these eigenvalues. Uh, we need then to get lambda squared minus 3 lambda plus 2 to get our, eigen, our, our characteristic equation. Uh, so uh, we need a plus 12 from our second diagonal. In other words, to get from here to here, we've got to have a plus 12. Well, how do we get plus 12 out of our secondary diagonal? Uh, the first instinct is, well, 6 and 2, but of course we're subtracting the second diagonal from uh, the, the product of the numbers in the second diagonal from the product we get from the first diagonal. If we're subtracting these numbers, then we'd better have one of these, you know, we could use 6 and 2, and we could put 6 and 2 in 
six here and two here, we could put the two here and the six here, and then we've got to make one of them negative in order that when we subtract the uh, product of the diagonal elements, we get a positive 12. Okay, so we do that. Uh, and I just put the six here and put the negative on this. Could have put the negative on the two. It would have given us different solutions. It would have been a different matrix. Um, so our A matrix in any case would be this, because of course we do the A minus lambda I from this matrix, we get this. And now we've chosen these secondary diagonal elements so that the characteristic equation comes out the way it does. Okay, so uh, then we ask people to you know, come up with a couple of others and people had no trouble doing that. And just based on having a five here and a negative two here, what other numbers could we have here? Well, these numbers have to multiply out to negative 12, so when we subtract them, we get the plus 12. We need to go from here to here. <coughs> so we could put negative 4, 3, that would be fine. Uh, we could have used the negative six, with the 6 and the 2. We could have put the 6 here and the 2 here, put the negative on the 2. Or we could have put the negative on the 6, right? Or we could have used this one, but put the negative on the 2 instead of the 6. Right there's four different matrices that have the same, to give us uh, an A minus lambda I matrix that gives us the same characteristic polynomial. Okay, and then other possibilities. We put a 4 and a 3 here, 4 times 3 is 12, right? And you know, put the 4 one place or another and put a negative on whichever one we want. Um, here's another example. 1 times 12 is 12, we put the negative in the 1, so when we subtract this, we get a plus 12, so everything works out. And I ask people to just check it out, okay? Do the A minus lambda I matrix for each of these, and convince yourself that we always get the same characters equation, so we get the same eigenvalues. Okay, now we just choose one of these. Okay, well, I chose the second one, that's the first one somebody from the group gave me. Uh, so we want to diagonalize that matrix. That matrix is 5, negative 4, 3, negative 2. How do we diagonalize it? Well, we go through the process that we're used to, so I'm not going to explain the details of it. I'll just refer to them. We know lambda 1 is 1, lambda 2 is, uh, lambda 1 is 2, lambda 2 is 1. That's how we set up the matrix. The same thing is true of all the others. The eigenvalues for the matrix come about when we look at this matrix and set it equal to 0, 0. Okay, well, for this matrix here, that's going to be, yeah, for lambda 1 equals 2, a minus lambda i is 5 minus lambda 1 minus 4, etc. And it reduces to 3, negative 4, 3, negative 4, meaning if a minus lambda i times x1, x2 is 0, 0, well, that means that a times x1, x2 equals lambda times x1, x2. That's why we do it. That makes x1, x2 an eigenvector for that eigenvalue. Okay, well, from this equation, we get 3x1 minus 4x2 equals 0. Now, we could solve, do 3x1 equals 4x2. Uh, x1 equals 4 thirds x2, let x2 equal 1, x2 will be, uh, x2 equal 1, x1 will be 4 thirds. Uh, that's actually too much trouble. I just do this. Let x1 be 4, x2 equal 3. Why does that work? Well, put 4 in here, you get 3 times 4. Put 3 in here, you get negative 4 times 3. 3 times 4 minus 4 times 3 is 0. Uh, any way you get it, by hook or by crook, any, time, any way you can get two numbers that satisfy this equation, that's going to be an eigenvalue. If you got the four-thirds one, well, that's just three times, uh, well, three times the four-thirds one that you would get if you let x2 equal one here, um, gives you the four-three. Okay, so this is just a, a multiple of any other solution to these equations, and you should make sure you understand why that's so. Okay, well, in any case, there's our eigenvector uh, for lambda 1. Eigenvector for lambda 2 is 1, 1. Well, that gives us our similarity transformation. Well, the, the, the T matrix for our similarity transformation, just 
uh, this eigenvector and this eigenvector. The inverse, well, we do the inverse. We flip the diagonal, and make flip the main diagonal, and make the secondary diagonal negative. And then we do our t inverse a t. Well, I didn't actually multiply it out. I went on faith. I know that this has to be this. So I know if I wrote these down correctly, and if you multiply them out, it gives you this. Okay, at least I hope I didn't do anything really stupid, because I'm going to go on quite a ways with this example. And if I did something really dumb in doing all this, um, it's not going to work out. Now, as it turns out, I got lucky and it did work out. So it's going to work out. Anyhow, there's our similarity transformation for this matrix, which we constructed by choosing our eigenvalues and by making an arbitrary choice of what these numbers are and then, yeah, but not, not totally arbitrary, these have to add up to the negative of the coefficient of lambda for reasons you should understand. And then we manipulated it with the secondary diagonal.